In this video, we're going to see the calibrated Fibonacci roulette strategy, an interesting twist on the standard Fibonacci method we explored in a previous video. The classic Fibonacci strategy is seen by many as the best strategy for winning at roulette, but this variation amps up your winning chances even more, aiming to predict the upcoming outcomes. But does it truly work? Let's delve into the details and find out. Welcome to Ninja Gamblers, the ultimate destination for quality casino content. Here you can find the latest info as strategies for roulette, blackjack, poker, slots and more. If you want to stay ahead of the game and be best equipped to try and beat the casinos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell. In the link in the description of this video, you can also find a link to our Telegram channel where we share extra content that never makes it to YouTube. And you can also find a list of safe licensed casinos we recommend with free money bonuses that they offer. Alright folks, since you really enjoyed the last video I did on the normal Fibonacci strategy, Today, I'm going to show you one of the many variations available. First off, in this video, I'll assume you're already familiar with the standard Fibonacci method, meaning you've watched my previous video on Fibonacci. If you haven't seen it yet, I strongly recommend watching it before this one. You'll find it suggested right up here in the top right corner. So today, we'll move quickly, assuming you already know the basics. As I'm currently in Europe, I'll be playing in a European casino using Euros. However, this method works with any currency, whether it's dollars, pounds, or anything else. Just ensure that the casino you choose is legal and safe in your country. I need to emphasize the importance of avoiding unlicensed online casinos. Playing in such casinos can lead to legal and financial troubles. These casinos may be involved in scams, offer rigged games, and could suddenly disappear, making it impossible to recover your funds. They often operate from places with lax regulations and can be very unreliable. To ensure a secure gaming experience, I recommend playing only in online casinos that are certified and licensed by reputable authorities. In the video description below, you'll find a list of verified and safe casinos in your country, many of which provide free bonuses for new members. For our friends in the United States, Remember that each state has its own rules about legal online casinos, and some states only permit social casinos. To help you navigate this, the link in the description includes information about legal online casinos in each US state, as well as the top social casinos in states where traditional casinos aren't legal. In short, no matter where you are in the world, the link in the description will guide you to safe and regulated casinos in your region. Remember that in the link in the description, you can also download the table for following the Fibonacci sequence, which tells you exactly how much to bet on each part of the sequence, depending on how much your initial bet is, and also tells you how much budget you need depending on how many numbers of the sequence you want to afford. I have done this in dollars, euros, British pounds, and Indian rupees, so you can find the one with your currency. All right, let's get started. Here we go team, as you can see, I've got a balance of 162 euros, just shy of the 188 from last time. This round though, I'm not sticking to a base bet of 50 cents, but going big with 3 euros. How's that? Well, this time I'm limiting myself to just 10 numbers in the Fibonacci sequence, rather than the usual 12 from the other video. By the by, I forgot to mention last time that the numbers in the Fibonacci sequence can also be called terms. So, why fewer terms this go around? Because I'm mixing things up a bit from last time, which lets me be a tad more laid back and dare to use fewer numbers. What we're going to do is calibrate our bet appropriately to what just happened, hence the strategy's name. We don't dive in straight away, but wait for the right moment to bet. We'll still use our columns, but I'll do blank spins until I see one of them hasn't come up for three or four times. Then I'll jump in and bet on that. All right. Let's try and see what happens, spinning blank. Okay, three spins and the first column at the top hasn't come up yet. One more spin, and there you have it, it's come up. So we could have bet, well, moving on. It's time to bet on the third column at the bottom, which hasn't appeared for three spins. Three euros, our base bet for today. It doesn't come up, so we move forward in the Fibonacci sequence, rebetting 3 euros as it's the second term. Lost again, so on to the third term, 6 euros. We can do it this way for speed. And we've won. Now, if you remember what I said in the old video, the higher up we go in the Fibonacci sequence, the more we'll make when we win. 
In this case, we've made 18 euros, so 6 euros profit. OK, back to blank spins. To do this, select a random bet, hit cancel, and there's the button for a blank spin. Each roulette has its way of doing a blank spin. Be careful not to re-bet with money. All right, the first column hasn't come up three times. Let's bet. Three euros. And off we go. Lost. So another three euros. One. So we've just made three euros profit, having won at the beginning of the Fibonacci sequence. In this variation, you'll likely win quite early on. The idea is you've already done three or four blank spins and that column hasn't shown up. So theoretically, it's more likely to appear soon. This is both good and bad. Good because the risk should be lower, needing fewer bet multiplications to win. Bad because, as I've often said, in the Fibonacci method, the further you go in the sequence and win later, the more profit you make, unlike the Martingale doubling where you just recoup losses without extra earnings. So, if we win on the first or second sequence number, we make three euros, but the further we go, the more we recover our lost amount and earn extra profit, even up to tens of euros in a single go. Okay, the second column hasn't shown up for a while, let's bet. And we win immediately, nice. More black spins. First column looks promising, time to jump in as it hasn't shown up for a while. Got it straight away. See, often with this variation, we hit the columns on the first few tries. I'm now at 189 euros, starting from 162. That's a 27 euro gain in a few minutes, not too shabby. Remember, always do blank spins and don't re-bet, right? The second column is hot, folks. Let's bet. Three euros again, and got it. Good stuff. Let's do the usual dance to get the blank spin button. Wonder why they couldn't just give it to us straight after betting. Okay, the second column hasn't shown up for a while. Let's bet. Caught it on the second try again. Excellent. So, you see how the strategy works. It's more of an observation game. You need to be alert and see when a column hasn't appeared for at least three spins. Of course, the longer you wait, the more theoretically probable it becomes that it'll show up soon. I wait for three or four spins, but if you like, you can sit there and wait for a column not to show for, say, 10 spins, then swoop in with a heftier base bet. Or, for even more certainty, wait loads of spins and then jump in with a very low base bet, maybe even allowing yourself 14 sequence terms, greatly increasing your winning chances. Yes, but at a cost. In my opinion, it gets boring. I mean, you're waiting for something like 10 spins for a column not to show just to maybe win 50 cents. It takes ages to build up. It's time consuming. Personally, I'd structure it so the longer you're willing to wait, the bigger you bet. If I had to wait 10 spins before jumping in, I'd go in with at least 10 euros. Of course, the higher your initial bet, the more you'll need to load in to climb the Fibonacci sequence numbers. So, if someone really starts with 10 euros as a base bet, they'll find themselves placing hefty sums if they have to move up the sequence a bit. I wouldn't really recommend it unless you have the funds to afford it. Moreover, even with all these precautions, I always want to stress that risks never vanish. No casino game or strategy guarantees wins, and the risk of having to bet more than what you have is always there, because, however unlikely, even the most complex number sequence can occur. So, as always, having a stop loss and knowing not to go beyond it is essential. Accept the loss if it comes to that. Now, in this game, I was a bit cheeky and set myself a maximum of 8 terms, which really isn't a lot. Maybe better to stick to 12 terms even with the calibrated variation. Alright folks, I'll keep playing a bit longer. I'll speed up the video. See you soon. Here we are, just hit a balance of 285 euros, making 123 euros in, I'd say, less than 10 minutes. Not bad. Obviously, a couple of things. You saw that a few times I reached the eighth term of the sequence, so despite this variation, it still happens that you move up the sequence. 
This is, as usual, both good and bad. Good because when you win, you make more profit, but bad because, well, there's the risk of busting, obviously. Anyway, 123 euros in less than 10 minutes is a really good amount of money. So, what do I think of this variation? Well, I'd say maybe 8 terms is a bit limited, and one should remember the risks I've explained and always mention. But apart from that, I reiterate that I'm increasingly convinced that the Fibonacci method, calibrated or not, is probably the best way to win at roulette. So, let me know what you think of this variation in the comments. I try to respond to everyone. I remind you that in the link in the description, you can find a list of safe and certified online casinos in your country and in each US state. I recommend using certified casinos if you want peace of mind and to avoid scams, rigged games, or even playing in illegal casinos in your country and having trouble with the law. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel. I look forward to seeing you in the next video. See you soon, ninjas.